Hi guys, it's Matt Seville from astrolandscapes.com and I just finished my first solo road trip so I thought I would show you a little bit about how I have my vehicle set up for outdoor photography and nightscape photography for a one-man trip. Now I'm gonna have to do a completely separate video for two people or three person trips because obviously I've com configured the entire car for one person. So that'll be a completely separate video. But basically, here is what I have got. I have sleeping area on the side over here, the passenger side. I took off the headrests for the front seat and the middle seat and then folded them down so that, this is a Subaru Forester by the way. It's kind of uh, uneven, but I got a sleeping surface back here with a uh, sleeping pad and my sleeping bag. So this is sleeping side back here. And then up front I have the charging station here. Inside I have a, a cigarette lighter splitter thing. So I'm charging USB batteries for a Sony cameras or cell phones or my time-lapse devices. And then I've got the inverter here for wall power for uh, charging Canon and Nikon batteries. And uh, I put it on the passenger side seat here so I can charge uh, swap batteries while I'm traveling. And also so that I can flip the switch. Uh, you know, sometimes I put the inverter down below or underneath the seat, but it's hard to flip the switch and turn the whole system off. I like, it have, I like having it right here. So this is charging stuff right here. I got the GoPro charging. Up front I also have another USB power thing for powering my phone and charging, uh, charging the GoPro or whatever else. Uh, so that's all together like six or so USB ports to, uh, well there's a power strip plugged into the inverter. So that gives me four or five or six wall outlet ports in case I'm charging uh, three batteries at once or uh, something else. Basically, so this is charging up here, and then in the pass in the driver's side passenger seat, I have all my camera gear. So this is sleeping, and then on this side, in the very back, I have main gear, like all the tripods and stuff. But in the back, in the passenger seat, the driver's side, I have all my camera bags. So if I am running and gunning, uh, and I can hop out of the car really quick. My boots are down beneath, as with my clothes and food are underneath here, by the way. I've got the uh, camera bags there for quick access so that I can get out of the car and stuff is on this side. I don't have to wander around to the very back or to the other side. So if I'm stopping frequently to take a lot of pictures here and there, I can just hop out and my shoes, my camera gear and everything is really quickly right there. My jacket is also right here in the uh, sleeping area. And then the tripods are either in the foot space or in the very, very back, uh, along with any other lighting gear or my larger camera bag for other stuff if I need it. Other things include tire chains, of course, for winter weather travel. And like I mentioned before, the pump, the charger, for jump starting the car and pump airing down or fixing flat tires. So that's about it. I'm pretty happy with the way I've configured this Subaru Forester for one person trips. It's rather comfy and we'll have to do another video soon for two person or three person trips. Uh, especially for three or four person trips I'd like to get like a roof rack or something for the lightweight stuff like sleeping bags and duffel bags and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, for now I'm pretty happy with this. I've got plenty of charging power for charging batteries. I've got pretty decent sleeping space. So stay tuned. Hopefully I'll have more videos up soon. And thanks for checking in. Take care.